morning everyone thank you very much for joining me again thank you for all your comments and for anybody who subscribed recently and all the lovely old subscribers not that you're old but that i know you a lot better today's reading is from an older subscriber not in age and it's from mo and it is who wants to kiss you you've got three piles as usual you've got Number one, which is Pantone 677. Number two is Apple Green. And number three is Cactus Flower. So if you want to choose one of those, and then we will um, get going. Right, I think this is quite strong for me. This is somebody who, somebody who wants to kiss you, I think got possibly a work connection. They're, they could be in a position of authority in work, but deep down, I think that you have the authority. There's something quite forthright and something quite spicy about you that is almost making them feel as if you're taking their wind a little bit and in a positive way out of their sails not in a way that they you they feel defeated but in a way that they feel as if they recognize that you're quite forward moving quite as i said just said feisty but there's nothing they can do about it the attraction's there but there's nothing they can do about it this person's quite romantic i think they've got a sort of healing quality they're probably quite charming you've got the chariot is the chariot makes me think here of somebody who is very good at moving forward they're very forthright they're very they have energy inside them they have that spark in the eye with libra here it makes me think they're quite charming so somebody who is probably very forward introducing themselves very forward in making friends and but has a real sort of sweetness about them it makes me think of somebody in a party who is grabbing people together introducing them because of the forthright feel of the chariot and the lever there. And the Chiron also gives me that feeling that they're very good at reading people. So this somebody who wants to kiss you is, <laughs> wants to kiss you, that's so romantic. I mean, I'm sure all the other tarot readings are doing, tarot readers are doing something far more, far more filthy than kiss you. <coughs> Thank you, Mo, for that one. So this person, going back, which is a very romantic feel to this person, is somebody who is confident, charming, and can read people very well. I am having images of old actors, the old English actors, and I don't know why. I'm not even going to say their names because that will put you off totally. Somebody very charming, very good at introducing people, very inclusive. This Pantone here as well, and the cards down here is a, is a type of spread that I wanted to pick out how you may possibly know them, some sort of um, inklings of time and circumstance, and this is personality up here. You've also got here the Pantone 677, which is a romantic pink feel. It's, um, to me, it makes me feel of idealised romanticism. Is that such a... Um, a phrase I've just made that up because you've got the king of cups down here as well for your person and you've got the page of cups for subconscious feelings this person is a dreamer they're somebody who expects life to be beautiful and projects it onto other people which is a fantastic trait to have as long as you're not hurt too easily because it can make you cynical as you get older I'm sure um but I don't get this feeling here. This is where I'm thinking it's a work connection. You've got the Brother of Stencils. These cards are a bit sarky. It will work for idiots. And you've got the Emperor here. So this makes me think of a work connection, possibly, or somebody you know from a practical situation. But I think this person has a, an air about them of authority. And it could be authority in a very sort of... I don't know spiritual isn't the word I'm looking for. It's charming. It's a real charming air about this person. Somebody who is just enjoys being, if it's a man, they enjoy being with women. 
that Libra card there, that pink, but it's somebody who possibly is in a position above you in work or that you've been referred to in a work situation. It doesn't have to be above us and your boss, but just somebody who is slightly untouchable. And as I said before, this person has a real romantic air about them, but with a karma feel here, it's almost like a soulmate romantic air about them. They believe that there is somebody out there who could possibly fit the bill. You know, that type of feeling that you have a few connections in life and they're really meaningful. This is possibly what this person thinks about with regards to you. So they feel a real spiritual connection. I don't, I think you will know who this is because I don't, I don't feel this person has a problem coming forward. That Chiron makes me feel quite possibly an oversense, an oversensitivity in some areas, maybe. Chiron in sometimes makes me feel of Neptune because I think Chiron people are very good at feeling everybody's undercurrents. And it can feel a bit heightened sometimes. And sometimes in a negative sense, it can make them a people pleaser. In a positive sense, it makes them very astute to knowing what people need and giving them what they want to bring the best out of themselves. But you've also got this card over here, which I can't, I don't actually feel I want to read, um, you know, what can't like the nine of earth. It To me, it's just a picture, this one. And it's a man who feels overwhelmed in some way with regards to you. And you're coming across here, down here, as possibly, whether you're a man or a woman, the Queen of Cups as well. So, something to do with recognition. There's the Queen of Cups, there's the King of Cups, there's the Page of Cups. You've got the whole, page, you've got the whole, oh my God, you haven't got the Page of Cups here. You've got the whole family coming together here. You've got the fortune for that karmic field. You've got the emperor and the brother stencils. For what I would say is either a work situation or a situation where um, it makes me feel restrictive in some ways. They can't actually show what they feel because of some position they're in. You know, it could even be. No, I'm not going to. Not going to go there. That would go wrong. But sensitivity and romanticism. That's who wants to kiss you. So let's go through the situation. You've got the fool here crossed with the Ten of Pentacles. I was going to say, when I said I wasn't going to say anything, a family situation. You have somebody who knows your family, who is attached to your family in some way, and doesn't feel it's the correct thing to do to show their feelings to you. But the fall here is, makes me think that something has happened recently, and they either feel that they're in with a chance, or that things have, with a chariot card and the fall here, as if things have started running away with regards to you two, as if maybe you've given them nod in some way that you might be attracted to them, or there's just a feeling of forward moving and excitement, and basically, it makes me feel like somebody's given a phone call and you're basically grabbing things out of, a, out of around the house and putting them into a bag and moving. It's that excitement and forward moving feel as if, you know, grab it while you can feeling. And the Ten of Pentacles at the moment is making me think family because you've got all the cups here. All the cup, queen, page, kings. I have got page, what am I talking about? I've got two pages here, so... There could be an age difference. I don't know. I would have said that they're younger, but with the Emperor card up there, I'm not sure. Let me keep going and I will just feel my way through and then we can sort of sum up their personality, how you might know them and the circumstances behind this. <clears throat> behind, you've got the Queen of Cups. So I'm assuming that's the way that they see you. They see you as a mirror of themselves, somebody who is soft-hearted, somebody who is easygoing, somebody who is kind, and somebody who can also, has, has an element of charm about them, and can actually read people and give when... See, cups are unusual sometimes. I don't know Pisces, but when I think of cancer, I think of people who, who give but also have that edge about them that if somebody asks for too much, then they just cut off. There's a lot more, I think a lot more, there's more barriers with cancer. I'm trying to think what this makes me feel of. That makes make sense. So 
consciously paid your cups. So they it's like falling in love. It's like falling in love and recognizing that you're the person that they want to be with because there's a real, they, you give them something in their life that they may not have felt for a long time. You know that feeling when you see somebody and you forget what it's like to fall in love and then you see them and it's like, I remember, it's that type of feeling. And it, you almost feel like, and I said this in the reading, I think it's going to go out today, you almost feel like you're grappling to, to maintain it because it just it just shoots off endorphins or something inside you that just feed it. It is that sort of desire feeling when you feel like you can't get enough, but it's exciting. And there's got to be that. I always think there has to be that sort of um, weighing it up between not getting taken away with it, but still enjoying your life. You can see all these desires coming towards you and you you know, you want to pull them towards you because you know, you're here on earth and you've got to enjoy yourself, but you want to realise basically it's a game and what you're doing. So that's what I'm feeling. This person has seen you and fallen for you in a very romantic way. You will know who this person is by the fact that they are very much in touch with who you are, what you need, and can actually connect with you in a very charming, old-fashioned, romantic way. The mirroring card here, I, have, I didn't actually see that until I started looking at all these cup cards. You are very similar nature. The person who wants to kiss you believes that you are, <laughs> wants to kiss you, <laughs> believes that there's um, something in you that they have in them and it's got to do with pink, it's got to do with Libra to me, it's got to do with sensitivity, softness and... With these cup cards here, it's the type of person that looks at you and thinks that you'd be a good father or a good mother. There's something emotional here. There's some connection that's emotional rather than a one card would make me think that, yeah, you're the type of person I can go go-karting with. Um, and the pentacles would be, yes, or it could be family, but you, it would be more a case of we'd be established family rather than you fit my emotional bill. The Nine of Swords here it has, to me, restrictions going. This person may want to kiss you, but feels with a Six of Swords and Nine of Swords at the end that it's not going to happen because of something. These two cards are quite hard to have sword cards in front of this. Actually, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords, and these are the cards I would be looking to to try and find out what's happened this person feels either hurt or trapped with regard to their feeling they're coming across as being very romantic but being quite forthright with it and there's a position what i think a work position or a position but we'll work for idiots and the emperor makes me think of work Let me just have a little bit more of a look and then I will start trying to read it all together rather than picking through. That, are you married? Are you happily married? They may think that you're happily married or with somebody else who they think that you are quite content with. This is somebody who I think feels, uh, the case coming together now, I think you feel the same. You've got two nine of cups here. One person's got it for the nine of swords, which is basically somebody who is up at night thinking that it's an anxiety and trauma in some way. And it's got something to do with another man. And it's got something to do with what I would say, somebody feeling content. So that's what's making me think that they think that you're taken already. You've got the nine of cups down here for you. I think you feel the same. I think you know who I'm talking about. And I think that you're very attracted to them. The six of swords at the end, sort of with the fool next to it here and the fool at the beginning. The fool at the beginning and the end are strange cards to have because the fool starts the tarot pack and then if it ends at the end, it's like going a full circle. And the six of swords makes me think of healing and the justice makes me think of fairness. There's got something to do with the karma here, the two fools at the end. It's got something to do with what I would pick up as a real recognition of 
it's like a so this person views you as a soul connection and can feels like you've had i would say maybe cycles together there's some sort of as i said earlier i don't talk about soulmates um because i think we've got thousands of soulmates and they're men women children you know there's just those people we need to be with to learn our lessons and this person recognizes you as one of those people right pan number one i've got what i feel is it coming coming together which is probably not at all okay right i think that this person who wants to kiss you is somebody very sensitive somebody very charming somebody who knows how to connect if it's a man they're very good at connecting with women and um, if it's a woman there's just that charm there there's that ease there and probably very much um, I'm going to say encased in their own femininity. I don't know what I mean by that. The Pantone here makes me think of somebody who's very romantic, which is mirrored over and over again in the circumstance spread down here, where there's basically the whole cup family. And this mirroring card here, they see you as being as charming and romantic and, care and caring as they are. There may be some sort of connection to do with work, but this person views you as, I would say, a real strong soul connection. There's mirroring, there's the karma card here, there's, and the family card makes me think there's a real old fashioned feel that, that you could be the ideal long term partner, which I know may see a long stretch with just the fact that it's just kiss, but there's something in here which feels there's recognition here. There's recognition, there's ease, and there's familiarity. And I'm surprised I haven't got the six of cups here. The nine of cups here, for both these cards, I wonder whether you're taken or whether the circumstance that you know each, know each other in is quite structured. With the nine of swords next to it makes me feel that they can't come forward or there's some anxiety there. To be honest, I'm thinking the nine of swords here is quite a strong card to have for somebody who can't get close to you because you're sat on the other side of the office. It's making me think that you already are with somebody or they are. And I that they, they may be happy with the person that they're with or think that you are happy with the person that, they, that you are with. It's a south node feel, it's, but it could be a north node feel. I'm thinking south node because of the beginning and the end. The full there and the full there is like the alpha and the omega and almost like slip forward a bit. It's like you know, we've done the cycle and we're beginning again. So there's that, that feeling of recognition. There's that feeling of um, ease, I suppose, of knowing the person and there's a softness there. There's a real romantic air there and there's just a, and it stops. You make each other feel good by just looking at each other because you think you're very similar. You've both got the Nine of Cups and then it just stops. And it's like healing and fairness and what I would sense with the Justice card here, morality. So the person I think that wants to kiss you, power number one, is somebody who feels that they have to fight their way either through their relationship or your relationship to get that peck in. And you'd want it, with all that fighting, to be more than a peg. You will know them by the fact that they are very charming. And there's a really strong Libra feel here. And I know you've got so many cup cards, but with that pink Pantone and that romantic air and the Libra and the Chiron... And the hopes and fears is the Page of Pentacles... So I'm wondering with those that Emperor card and the Brother of Stencils up there, whether they feel that there can be some, yeah, they feel that there should be or could be some sort of small connection. It makes me think of somebody who almost accepts that, that you're not going to get together, possibly because of some blockage, but they still want to keep contact with you with the Page of Pentacles there. And they've got the Brother of Pentacles up here. So I don't know if it's a work connection or just the practical connection of thinking that I know there's a blockage. I know we can't be together, um, which is going a bit more than just a kiss, isn't it? But I would still like to be close to you. I would still like to, um, I'm going to say walk alongside you because I don't know what your circumstances are. It's somebody who either wants to work alongside you because they feel that to get that close to you would be explosive in some way. And I've got a funny feeling it's to do with other relationships. There's a real sense, you know who this person is, there's too many cup cards for you not to know who it is. I think this person makes you feel good and vice versa. 
They're almost like your ideal mate, but there's some blockage there where you can't get together. Oh, what did I say? Tonight I'm so clever. I just said I'm almost expecting to see the Six of Cups and it's actually stuck upside down on this pack by the side. Yeah, there's a karmic feel about this. And I know that, you know, calm, basically every time you get out of bed, there's a karmic feel about it. But there is in this pile a real recognition and an understanding that it makes you feel like you've been together before. And it's it's like a self, I don't even know what I'm going to say. It's almost like a self node feeling of recognising the contact, but it's almost as if you can't move forward with it for other reasons. But anyway, this person who feels very attached to you, very at ease with you, enjoys your company, does not want to lose contact with you, this person wants to kiss you. I'm going to finish there, pile number one. I hope that feels right in some way. You don't normally get Queen of Cups, Page of Cups and King of Cups together. That's them and this is the past and their subconscious feelings. So it's very emotional. You hear you've got the Six of Cups, that that contact, that connection is, um, it's very, I'm going to say nostalgic is the word that's always used, but there's a sense of ease. There's a sense of ease with talking to you, being close to you. You just feel as if with karma there, they've spent time with you before and it probably feels extremely strange, strange to them. But not really, because when this person falls in love, they fall in love hard. A very romantic air and a very forthright and forceful. It's a strange card to have with these romantic things because a chariot is, to me, this is somebody who falls in love, is very sensitive, recognises somebody and really falls deep. The chariot card is somebody who is almost got a fixed feeling of like a dog with a bone. Once they fall in love, it's, they won't, it's like you can't shake it off them. You can't get the bone off them. <laughs> I'm going to leave on that one. Okay. Thank you very much and I hope to see you again. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to say what I'm thinking um, just from looking at the cards and I haven't actually looked at them enough to be honest so I'm going to shoot my mouth off and then probably retract but let's just, t I'll just tell you what I'm thinking so far. This makes me feel like a pile um, where the person who wants to kiss you is somebody who has like a theatrical flair about them. It's somebody who likes to rush into life, get what they want um, in a nice way, there's excitement, there's a childlike quality, there's a very romantic quality, not like the first pile where it's sweet romantic quality, it's a real sort of fifth house feeling of it being very exciting, very fun, trying to make life um, I can't think of a word once I said fun, trying to make life joyous is probably a word that sounds really sort of stupid but never mind. And there's a real air of wanting life to be beautiful. There's passion, there's excitement in this person. Um, but I think you have, or no, actually I don't know if it's you. What I'm saying at the moment, there's something to do with this person's basic nature having to be pulled back and slowed down, which they are finding uncomfortable. With regards to their feelings towards you and wanting to kiss you, this is somebody who would want to do it in an exciting way. It would be somebody who would want to take you, put you in the car, take you somewhere and do it in a spot that meant something to them. There's a romantic feel, but there's a feeling of movement. There's a feeling of passion. So you probably would actually end up getting more than a kiss from this person. But they want it to the Leo feel of wanting it to be theatrical. There's something to do with this person likes to be the centre, so it, the actual kiss, the connection, the actual moment when you're together would have to be something big. And the biggest thing I could feel, I could actually think about now, I've been locked down for a year, was going for a drive in the car. 
Ugh, there's a real feeling here as well with two Empress cards of either you're both parents or one of you is a parent or there's just something to do with your physicality and your looks playing a part in the attraction here. But there's definitely, definitely... These cards are big to have at the beginning. These cards here of the situation to hopefully give me a lead up to how you know this person, what your connection may be, if there is one. These cards are like personality traits to try and pull out who this person um, actually might be. The Tower card and the Death, well, for the small square at the beginning, are huge cards to have. There's something that has happened between the pair of you recently that has flipped everything. Everything has been... It's like somebody stood on your Lego pile house. <laughs> that was in a Gruffalo there with the log pile house. Somebody, Gruffalo, has stood on your log pile house here and crushed something either in your life or this person's life. I don't know as yet. But there's got there's this feeling that your person's quite passionate, quite forthright, quite outspoken, possibly falls in love quickly. And you are, or the situation is making them work a lot slower and to actually almost sum up events before they move forward. It's like playing with situations and then the Seven of Pentacles makes me think of trying to understand them, trying to be more pentacle-like, which is really a cop out there for a sentence, to just to be more steady and stayed with what direction they want to go in, what they actually want at the end of it. Which I think they are doing. Because the King of Pentacles here makes me, I can say makes me think, but it is somebody who is a slow mover. Somebody who likes, and this person doesn't like this, somebody who takes romance um, at a very sort of, in an easy, an easy pace. Somebody who's prepared to wait a year for this contact. Your person is not prepared to make a year. They may be playing the slow game here. And the Empress card here with it at the top for your person. I wonder whether you're both either parents or you could both be like Libras or Taurus. Or, just some, or you're both just very good looking. And that's what the connection is. You could be the two people that everybody knows as in oh my gosh you know so and so like so and so because you are seen as typically good looking you now with venus there it's a romantic feel but it's normally makes people better looking than average i've got i've got two i've got four there's, there's five of us five kids in my family and my three sisters um one's a burger rising there's me, and then there's one with Libra rising. And no offence to me and my other sister, but the Libra rising sister has got the cheekbones, has got the big blue eyes, the long eyelashes, has, you know, just, it's just, it's just mean. So that possibly could be something to do with it there. You're coming across as feel it. you know who this person is. You've got Eros here. You've got the Eight of Wands here. So they're Eros. So to me, it's the same feeling. It's like fiery, sexy fun. It's that person who wants to move forward. It's that person who wants life to be more playful and more exciting than it is the day before. And the Eight of Wands here, that Sagittarius feel is somebody who tumbles into romantic situation, wants to tumble into romantic situation. It's the playful puppy who is basically wanting it to materialise in a romantic sense in their life. So you are feeling very similar to them. The Knight of Cups here, Aries, and when Aries falls in love, they don't see anything else. You know, they're very forthright, they're very... But with the Empress there, there could be that sort of Aries Libra feel of somebody who's a little bit more romantic. So this person, I'm not taking this. I'm not having this. I'm just not having it. These cards here are somebody who... Aries and Apple Green, Aries can get very jealous. So you're, this person may be... Falls in love fast, is probably quite possessive or basically doesn't want any competition whatsoever with regards to wanting to get close to you and get that kiss. There's an air there's an air and a flare of dramaticism. I made that word up totally. I don't know what the correct word is, but you have got the eight of wands twice. This is a very fast moving, exciting feel about this person and the fact that I think you know each other already and it's almost as if you can't sleep. 
if you knew what this person felt about you, you wouldn't sleep and vice versa, which you probably don't, I think. As I was saying here, I got taken away. The Knight of Cups here and Eros and Aries here is a real feel of falling in love. Falling in love fast, falling in love hard and enjoying it and not caring where it's going to end up because you're just enjoying every moment. The Queen of Wands at the end with regards to this kiss makes me think, I keep forgetting I'm talking about a kiss because it gets so wrapped up in the cards. The Queen of Wands makes me think that if they end up getting this kiss, you are going to match them because Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eros, the Empress, it's one of those... It's like a screen kiss. And as I said here with that, that card up here, which reminds me of a performance, that's what this person wants. They want it to be like a sexy, romantic TV kiss at the end. Oh dear, yeah, definitely. I hope some fears. Oh my gosh, what's hiding here? Oh, okay, seven of cut two sevens. Heaven bliss. Seven of Cups is that romantic feeling. I'm going to take that as heaven and bliss because that actually fits in. I was going to go down the normal route of saying Seven of Wands, quite a defensive feel about it. I don't get that with this pile at all. The only bugbear with regard to this person wanting to kiss you is that there is, they're impatient and you have there's something that is making them play the long game. The Seven of Cups here, as I just seven, as I just seven, as I just said, makes me feel of. With this sort of um, performance and this Eros and this Aries, it makes me think of somebody who gets taken away with things. And, and I said that feeling of heaven, that seventh heaven feeling. I think you're, I was going to say, like a really old fashioned term there, the person that wants to kiss you is quite a card. God, I'm just trying to think then, there was... I had a best friend when I was in work uh, years ago and she was absolutely fantastic. Whatever you did, it, wherever you went, it was really fun. And I can remember, I think I've said this before actually, sitting next to somebody on a course and um, they said, you know, Louise, uh, and we were talking about Louise and she was her neighbour. And then what, I can't remember what she said, but it was something along the lines of she was a car and I thought, yes, it was fantastic. Your person is a card. I think your person is known by a lot of people by the fact they, they make life fun, they make life move, and they don't really care too much about the consequences. This isn't giving me a feeling of somebody who's very stable normally. It's somebody who is very fifth house, perhaps very leo -y, somebody who laughs loudly. Somebody who you know when they're in the room and they like life to be bigger than yesterday. And you, there's something to do with timing, though, in, in, in this, where they've had to slow down their nature for some reason. You're feeling the same as them. It could be to do with COVID. It could be to do with circumstances where they are... This wouldn't be rubbing very well with them. They will find it very difficult. They want movement, they want passion, they want life to feel passionate, they want beauty. <laughs> the two Empress cards here. This is the thought that went through my head and I don't actually mean it, but I can't stop myself. There's a feeling of my mirrors on the ceiling because I'm thinking here of performance. The two Empress cards, both of you probably are good looking or enjoy beauty in some way. It could be that you're very interested in the arts. It's making me think of something that would end up as more than a kiss. And it makes me think of, and I haven't said this in the power before, of just bodies, but just that look good. And yeah, yeah. yeah. In our house, we had, when we were young, we had a book and it was like one of those epic books that we lost and couldn't find. And it was about two gypsies. No, it was about, a, I'm sure this is the wrong term now, but it was an old fashioned book and the term was gypsy in the book. And he was like this wild man with hair all over the place and really, you know, mills and boons type thing, absolutely awful, but fantastic. And he fell in love with this woman and the maid came in. It was like one of the, I don't know, really, I Tudor times, I don't know. And saw them entwined with each other 
And I always remember that bit of, he said, how good they look together. And this is what these two Empress cards are making me think of, that there's something very attractive about you two. And this is what they fantasise about. This book got put in the attic, and we still talk about it to this day. Luke and DeVille was fantastic. It was absolutely awfully fantastic. Luke and DeVille, if anybody knows what it is. Luke and DeVille, oh my God. Right, so to sum this pile up, pile number two, this person is passionate, this person, like, person likes life to move. There's a real erotic air about this. This person doesn't just want to kiss, this person wants more and would be disappointed with a peck. This is definitely not a peck pile, this is something more. This person, I think, likes the thought of looking at bodies, in, not entwined, but they like the thought of you being together in a more sexual sense. And there's some voyeurism bit here going on. And I know it's supposed to be kissing, but there's something to do with Venus, the two Empress cards here, Aries, Eros. There's something to do with aesthetics, nudity, <laughs> romanticism and passion. And I don't know which way to put that. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> And the Queen of Wands is just get it moving. So anyway, I'm going to finish there. I'm going to leave that rest, well, the rest of it to your imagination. It's got a feel of more than a kiss. So the person that wants to kiss you may start off like that, but I don't know how it's going to end. That's definitely for another day. Well, thank you very much, pile number two. I'm going to leave that there. I hope you have some idea who it possibly could be. I don't think you'd be able to mistake them, to be honest with this pile. It's not somebody who is vanilla. You know who it is, I think. Right, pile number two. I'm going to go and I hope to see you again. Bye. Right, pile number three, I think the person that wants to kiss you is something that is just beginning. It's something that has, I think, either ignited or reignited. You have got one of the fantastic, most fantastic, I love that card. Look at the lover's card here. This bit up here is for their personality, how you may recognise them. And this spread here is for basically for me to look at how you may know them with more of a timeline, with more of a bit of insight into circumstance. Um... I get the feeling your person is very romantic. There's a an air of spirituality about this connection. There's an air of romanticism is the, probably the, the best word for it. There's the hermit here and the cactus flower. The hermit makes me think of somebody who may be quite quiet, and that's very obvious. Somebody who is quite reflective, possibly. Somebody who may be interested in spirituality or maybe a yoga teacher or just somebody who understands how life clicks together and may spend. It's given me, I know it's a Virgo card, it's given me an Aquarius feel about it. And I don't know why. Maybe I will find out in a minute. The cactus flower here is making me think of spirituality again because it's like the passion. It's like the red um, of life with mixed with a bit of purple, which has got a more of a reflective feel about it. It's somebody who likes to move forward through knowing things rather than just moving through life blindly. There's an understanding here and there's a mixture probably white with that too. Isn't it funny when you put cards out that you start recognising the colours in other cards here? Your last card with regards to your circumstances is a death and rebirth, which is a similar colour here. And on your eight of wands. Something has happened recently that has sparked definitely with the eight of wands and the death and rebirth and these cards here just pulling all my all my thousands of eyes together. Um, it's making me think you know this person who wants to kiss you because something has come to light very recently. I reckon this person is quite sensitive. I reckon that they're quite quiet. You've got Venus and Pisces here. Venus and Pisces are romantic romantic in a rose tinted goggles way sometimes they can be too romantic and wonder 
wonder where it came from when things don't when life never flows smoothly but this this is like a shock when it kept venus in pisces when life is actually hard is a bit of a shocker to them there's a feeling here of them uh, knowing though there's a feeling here of them knowing what part they're playing and how you've come into their life and what part you possibly could make in their life or what part you could play in their life right there's also a strong feeling of possibly a family connection here or just that feeling of knowing i don't know why i keep seeing knowing because i know this is a virgo card i don't know why i'm thinking of aquarius and i'm desperately looking for something to connect connect that to make me feel better and i can't see anything but to me there's a feeling what i get from these cards here either a family connection or just a feeling of ease with you with regards to how you communicate um an understanding between the pair of you or the way that you communicate is easy um there's some fire in the communication here which is nice so there your person makes me think of somebody who very is very sweet-hearted comes across as being quite gentle comes across as being quite measured but underneath it when you get to know them with a lover's card here and they're coming across as the chariot and you've got the eight of ones at the top, there possibly could be a very well hidden, strong sexual part to them. I can't think of any other way to put that. And you've got the judgment card here. Right, okay. Let me just feed our way through this. This person needs a strong connection to feel sexual. Is that cancer feeling of need, needing some emotional connection, needing some... And, okay, I'm going to say soulmate again. I don't really enjoy using that term very much because I think that whoever you come into contact with, there's lessons. So there's a this person is looking for that though. They want that kiss to be with somebody, which I'm sure they're seeing as you, as there being something deeper than just a peck at the office party they want they see you as being a little bit more than that there's some i will come to it in a minute there's a connection there they feel is more than you get in everyday terms ah talking shit here okay Right, let's go through the pile and it will give me more of an inkling. Right, I do think as you're ending with a death card here that something has happened recently with the King of Cups crossing the Eight of Pentacles where either somebody's feelings have been shown or something has started that's pulled you both together. Something practical has started. Maybe you have bumped into each other somewhere. Maybe you have been pulled together into some situation or some circumstance. Maybe you've even just come into contact um by emails or you know that sort of online feeling as well not really getting that as strongly to be honest, possibly that has reignited the fire this one would be called relight your fire to me because you have got the ace of pentacles as a beginning the king of cups there's an emotional involvement with that beginning which is quite practical the four of cups i wonder whether you've got a past together of nobody making a move but just feeling as if there is either a family connection or just an ease of connection where you work in a team I think that recently something has sparked which has either reignited an old connection or just made this person look at you in a way like, I feel you. I wonder whether it's you that's put the distance between you or whether you thought there's no chance with this person with the Six of Swords here it makes me think that you're almost coming from a position where you thought there was no hope and it's actually... In some way, you're being pulled forward to realising there may be some potential here. You may get that kiss. I feel this is you. And I know they've got the hermit here, but you, the queen of swords for surrounding, the four of pentacles for behind, they are, this person, I don't think you think they're interested in you. But it makes me feel there's been some contact with this person who wants to kiss you recently. That has started the ball rolling again or just started the ball rolling for the first time. 
and it's been like uh, you've got the death card with the sun card here so something has changed and it's been some sort of revelation and i think the revelation is on your part because you're coming across i would say whether you're male or female this feels like your energy because the other one's your other person who wants to kiss you is coming across like they want to kiss you the last power that they want to do a bit more than that this person has a real romantic air of wanting to start with a kiss you're coming across as actually probably not believing it. The Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, isn't, no, they don't really like me, I'm not sure. You know, it just isn't, doesn't fit in, it doesn't sound right. But you will know whether this is your person because I think something has started recently that has made you start wondering again or start wondering at all. Right, let's get this together now. I've crawled my way through. I was going to say trawl, but I think crawl might be more apt. Right, I think your person is quite spiritual. I don't know what they do for a living or whether that's just part of their life or the way that they think. They're probably very reflective in the way that they live their life and they understand people and circumstances and connections very well. Your person's got Pisces Venus here, so there's a real romanticism about the way that they look at you and probably look at life in general. It's somebody who I think with this cactus flower colour color here and the chariot, which once again are the same colours, is somebody, as I said, has red... I'm going to say aura. I probably do mean aura, to be honest. There's that movement that is forthright, basic and quite sexual, but it's mixed in with the spirituality. So somebody who's very passionate, I think, once you get to know them. I think they come across as being possibly quite dreamy or quite cool or quite pulled back initially. This is the person that wants to kiss you. I believe that you don't think this person's interested in you, but something has happened recently that may have revealed their feelings towards you in some way. There's a real connection there. There's an ease of contact. Either if it's not that, it's got something to do with that they just think and you think that, that you both fit into each other's lives quite easily. No, maybe not. Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles makes me think that there's um, either a connection that feels easy or there's some family connection there or familiarity. When I translate things in my head, it makes it easier if I can. I know I talk about astrology a lot. I don't know if that miss people off a bit. But to me, I, I think through astrology and it doesn't naturally have to apply to your charts, is what I'm trying to say. This makes me feel like a south node feeling of familiarity. And the eight of wands makes me think that makes it easier for this person to actually display their more passionate nature without feeling that they should always give you this what I would say in astrology terms would be an ascendant sign of being quite cool, you know, like a Virgo or an Aquarius. And because underneath is that this rumbling sort of passionate edge to them that I think you have probably sensed in some sort of exchange of energy and you know, maybe just a conversation or something. And then that may have changed the whole circumstances here with the death card and the sun. Well, there's been this revelation. I wonder whether you're quite passionate thought this person may not have been your type or this person wasn't interested with these cards here and the eight of wands here it's almost as if something could have happened recently with the ace of pentacles and the king of cups here that's made you aware that this person could be your fiction and then you've got the lovers card here papa of buckets this four of um, spray cans, which is the four of cups, is very much in tune with what I think you've been feeling. You don't think this person's interested, but I've got to keep showing you that card because I love it. And then the page, Papa of Buckets, this man or this woman is has been hiding their emotions and their more forthright feelings for you, I think. There's a real connection. It's like another, once again, not as strong as possibly as Pi Arthur 2 or not 2. Or kind of, there's a real spiritual connection here. This person feels at ease with you as if it's right. You're the right person in their life at this time. It just feels good. There's a romantic air about them. So this is the person that wants to kiss you. They don't think you're interested. You've, begin, you've just begun to get inklings of what you, you would probably describe as a passionate nature. And they're... Um, 
they're feelings towards you and that's there's been some clarity recently and i think something has happened between you and this is the person i mean recently something you will know about that this is the person who wants to kiss you okay pile number three i'm going to finish there I do think something that you, this person who wants to kiss you, you'll know it, who it is by something that has started recently that has been some sort of, there's been some sort of clarity with regard to their intentions. I think there possibly always has been an ease of contact. I don't think you, you think they're interested at all, but I wonder whether this death and this sound with clarity and change is on both sides. You both realise there's something there. Because all these cards for them are very romantic. Just showing you again. And the Papa of Cups. They, um, you can't get a more romantic pairing than Venus and Pisces together. That is rose-coloured goggles. And this person has a real sweet energy about them. But I don't think sweet as in boring. Because you've got the chariot and you've got the eight of wands here. It did make me feel as somebody who comes across as being quite quiet somebody who's quite um gives off a cooler but knowing edge about them somebody who seems quite restrained probably possibly very much in touch with themselves okay a mature feeling probably i would say right i'm going to finish their pile number three i hope that helps and gives you some sort of inkling to what romantic kiss you may be you may be getting um thank you very much for spending time with me today and i hope to see you again bye